And if you're wondering, how do I grow my current business, right? Well, one of the best ways to growing long-term wealth and growing your business is using your ability that we all have across social media now to grow a brand that becomes well-known and can impact people, okay? And I'm gonna talk about now seven simple steps that you can all be taken to start doing that, okay? A lot of you, that's why I asked earlier that you're in the startup phase, right, or where you're at. So I'm gonna talk to you today in the next 30, you know, 20 minutes or so, seven steps you need to go from here to refine your brand, refine your product, refine your positioning, so you can actually start to grow it much quicker, okay? So here's uh, the first point, and we're going to make this next part interactive. So as I go through, I'm going to ask you guys a question, okay? So everyone answer this. I'll, I'll give you 30 seconds. If you don't have an answer for it now, just say, um, just say type NA in chat or still figuring it out, right? So if I asked you guys in one sentence, okay, this is kind of like an elevator pitch. In one sentence, what is your unique selling point? What do you do? Okay, I'll give you guys 30 seconds. Try and type it in the chat. Okay, if you don't know, just be honest. They don't know, haven't figured it out. NA, not sure, right? Um, and I'll try and help some of you near the end if we have time too. This is what I do all day, right? <laughs> With a lot of my members. Um, and some of our members pay me a hundred grand uh, just to sit with them. Uh, and, you know, they're in our program and I, I figure this out for them. And that hundred grand investment, when they figure it out, if they're a bigger business and it clicks, kind of connects everything. It's so, so powerful, okay? Um, because what it does is it kind of gives you this core foundation to build your entire brand around. If you don't know what this is yet, I really encourage you to spend time testing this, figuring it out, playing around with it, and then actually running some ads or trying some posts or doing some surveys to test the market. Because if you can get this unique selling point figured out, you'll do much better, okay? And there's some good examples where you guys are typing in the chat of people that did this, okay? They become very well known in their space. So like I said, um, you know, some of my business partners have, have done a good job doing this, right? Les Brown, most of you know who Les Brown is, right? Put your hand up if you're on video, if you know who Les Brown is, right? So when you think of motivational speakers, well, when you think of motivational speakers, you probably think of Tony Robbins, right? <clears throat> Les Brown, and there's probably Eric Thomas, you know, a few of us, right? There's a few, David Goggins, right, who we've done some work with as well. We actually, you know, my partner actually gets him booked on stages. So I was um, backstage with him the other day, and it's crazy to see how much of an influence he's had with people. But it, again, it's all because he built, he got a book, right? He did his book. It started to go viral. And now he has a massive following and tribe, which I'm going to talk about later. But if you look at all these people, right? Grant Cardone has his 10X, Gary Vee has his hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, people like Kevin Hart became famous for their comedy and then he obviously hit Hollywood. And one thing that, you know, my brand's worked on is in, is this whole red thing. And it's really working to actually grow into becoming a really strong wealth-based like advisory company that helps thousands of entrepreneurs around the world. So, when I look at your guys' unique selling points, right, um, they're good, right? A lot of you have started to figure it out. You uh, and, and what I'm going to take you through in the next few minutes will help you flush it out a little more, okay? So let me go to the, the next one. So unique selling point, right? Unique selling point. This is what a lot of you are missing, okay? And, and this diagram should help you, right? This diagram should help you a little. So have a think about what do you do well, okay? What do you do well? What is it that all your customers, your friends, your clients, what is it that they all love? What do you do really well? And then think about what your competition does well, okay? So you've got what you do well and then what your competition does well. And then the last piece is, is there a market need for this? What, you, what do my customers right, actually want and care about. And often what you think is important isn't always important to the customer. That's why you have to do market research. And then the most important part here, right, most important part here is this, the sweet spot, okay? So this is a blend of what you do really well and what your customer really wants and what your competition has missed, isn't doing, or has forgotten about, 
okay? So something you guys will want to go away and figure out is what do you do well and what do your customers, right, really, really want? <laughs> and if you don't know that yet, then you can be doing market research to figure that out, okay?